Hi everybody and welcome to this video on how to create a, a purchase order template using Excel. First of all we're going to begin with a new workbook and we're going to enter some information about ourselves, about our company. So we'll start off with our company name and um, our address details. Now we're just going to put some dummy information here but uh, you get the feel um, that we're just creating a placeholder to put our address um, and our uh, company contact details. We'll finish off with um, our company telephone number which we'll just enter here. Okay, we'll just widen the cell um, and as you can see uh, there's our company address details. So the next thing we want to do is um, just make clear that the document is a purchase order. So we're going to um, enter the words purchase order onto the uh, document. Um, add some information about the purchase order number, um, its date and um, we just add the date here. So uh, now we've got some basic information about the document. Um, we'll add some information now about the supplier, the uh, people we're buying from, or the vendor. And just to make things easy here, we're just going to cut and paste the um, our company details, um, and then we can just uh, change the headings to represent uh, the supplier. So we'll just change that here to uh, vendor company name. There we go. Next we're going to add some information on where we want the products uh, shipped to, so our ship to address. And again we'll just cut and paste um, the address information we've created earlier just to make it uh, nice and easy. So the ship to address is telling your supplier where you want your items um, sent to, delivered to. Um, and that might be different from your normal business address, so it's important to have that there. So we'll just go back to the document header and enter a placeholder for the buyer, so the person that's raised the purchase order and um, somewhere to record our shipping terms, our INCO terms. So we'll uh, just move that up there. So here we've um, begun to add in um, the information that we'd want to store about the parts that we want to order. So what part numbers we're ordering, a description, how many we're going to order, what price we expect to pay, and a column um, to enable us to um, add up the total price. Um, and we'll just format it here, we'll um, bolden it. Okay, we'll add some formatting, add some grid lines. Um, and create a little table here where we can uh, record what we want to order. Um, we'll just do a few rows, we're not going to do that many, but again, um, you can add in as many as you like on your uh, purchase order. Um, again, we'll add some grid lines here. Now, um, we'll just tidy up the description area, we'll just uh, make that a little bit wider. probably ought to do that because your description is going to be Word um, and typically that will be bigger than your part number so plenty of space there for a nice description about what we want to order. Okay we'll jump down to the bottom right hand side now and um, we'll just begin to add in our subtotals and um, information about what tax we're going to play um, on the order and a, uh, a grand total. Um, you might want to as well think about um, just recording like an, an other cell. Um, typically you might get discount from your supplier or you may get charged um, with some ancillary costs that you'll just want to record somewhere on the uh, on the order. Um, to the left of our subtotals we've added a text box just to record any notes or um, any text that you want to uh, accompany the purchase order um, and then we're going to add a block underneath um, just for any um, additional text you might want to include such as you know any terms and conditions um, that you may want to attach or send with the order um, buyer uh, contact details or indeed any other um, information that you think uh, will be useful to the vendor when they receive the order Ok 
Okay, well, um, add a line here as a signatory block. Um, so um, if you want to sign your order before you send it out, um, we'll add an area here where you can do. Just add some text here to say um, authorized by. Okay, now we'll go back up to the top of the document and we'll add some formatting. So we'll um, make the company name and the purchase order bold and we'll make it at, um, larger. I think we'll add some um, some colours and some shading as well just to uh, pretty it up. Um, and I think we'll shade in the vendor details and the ship to information. Okay, there we go. Just make it a little bit wider. We'll add some uh, shading as well in our total price column. Um, again, just to uh, just to highlight those really, we'll add some borders to some of the cells, um, our subtotal blocks. We'll add one to the tax and our other section. Okay, we'll make our grand total um, section stand out and we'll uh, bolden that up a little bit. And we'll add some shading there so um, it just stands out a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Okay, so our document's beginning to take shape. Um, I think the next thing we'll do is we'll just take the grid lines off the document um, and we just click on uh, the menu here and we'll just take those off. Okay. Um, and there's our uh, purchase order template um, uh, using Microsoft Excel. And uh, while it's just been a fairly generic uh, document, it should give you um, enough ideas for you to go off and um, have a go now at creating your own purchase order template uh, for you to use in your own organization. Okay, thanks for watching.